she is the moment. And apparently Kendall Jenner is supposed to be there. We were there for four and a half hours. Hey guys, I am so excited for this video for so many reasons. One being, this is my first video in my new room and I love it. I wore blue to match like the ambience, the aesthetic, like it is just immaculate and I'm here for it. The other reason I'm in a good mood is because this video involves me getting new clothes, which is just always a great time in my books. This is actually gonna be a great video. There's a lot going on. I have some unboxings to do. We're going to two clothing events, which I've never been to any clothing events before, so this is exciting. We're going to a white box gifting suite and an aloe retreat gifting event. Thing. I don't know, but it's in this massive house, like the nicest house I've ever seen. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going tomorrow, so that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna vlog everything, take you guys with me. This is like my first time ever experiencing like something like this, so I'm glad that like we get to do this together. I swear in Toronto, I was like this relatable girl, but like in LA, I just get pushed in these situations and I don't even know how I got there. I don't know why I'm invited, but I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Life is crazy, but I'm like, I'm here for it. Anyways, let's jump right into this unboxing. <laughs> okay, I want to start with what I'm most excited about, which is this right here. This is a pair of Jordans, and I've been pinning Jordans on Pinterest for the longest time. I've had like polls on my Instagram story asking you guys like, which ones should I buy? And then I just never buy them because they're so expensive. At least that's what I thought. For the longest time, I was like, I don't wanna spend like $800, $1,000 like on these sneakers. Like they're so expensive. All the patterns that I wanted, like whenever I check for my size, it's just so much money. But then I just started like scrolling on StockX one day and I realized that there's all these Jordans that don't have hype around them. So they're like a lot cheaper, even though they're just as cute as all the ones with hype around them. So I ended up getting this pair for like $200, which I did not know. You could get Jordans for that cheap, but I think these are just as cute as the expensive ones I wanted, so I'm happy. <laughs> ah. The tissue paper has 23 on them for like Michael Jordan. This is what they look like. It has like the little StockX verified thing to show that they're real. I think these are so cute. It's like this light pink color. It's got some black. Like these are very me. Like I'm obsessed with these. I feel like they're gonna elevate my outfit so much. This is gonna make me just seem cooler. It's gonna make me seem like I have swag. So this is the pair that I bought. And just for like comparison, let me show you the other two pairs that I was considering. And these ones were like 800 to $1,000 each. So I personally think I made the best choice. Like these are just as cute. Okay, this next package was sent to me from Mia Coffin Design. She makes like the coolest sweatshirts ever. I don't know what she sent me. She said she sent me two sweatshirts. So I'm just gonna unbox it and see. Her stuff's so cool. I found her on TikTok. I think she's like sent sweaters to like a lot of different influencers. Okay, yeah, she sent some to Lord DIY, Spencer Barbosa. These are a few different ones. Her stuff's so cute, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> this is like opening a mystery package. Like I know it's sweatshirts, I just don't know what the designs are. Ooh, okay, so they're both white. <gasps> Wait, these are so cute. I told her I liked an oversized fit, so I think these are like a large. It says Dior with all these little daisies. This is really cute. And she also sent me this one, which just has this, I think this is from Bugs Bunny, right? I'm honestly not familiar with this cartoon, but she's cute. If you guys are looking for some custom embroidery pullover sweatshirts, would definitely recommend checking her out. The next package is from Nasty Gal. I was not planning on ordering from here, but Adeline was shopping online and I was kind of going through her car, I was looking at things, and she found something that she sent to me and she's like, this is so you, you need to buy it. And I was like, you are right. And then I just kind of ended up shopping and buying some other items as one does, so we got a pretty hefty Nasty Gal order. But when you guys see some of these items, you'll understand why I needed to get it. Okay, so the first thing I got is, I think this is a matching set. Okay, yeah, it is. I am obsessed with matching sets. Like my dream wardrobe definitely consists of so many matching sets. So I got these shorts with a matching white sweater. I just think this is so cute for lounging around the house. And if you guys watch my videos, you know, I'm pretty much always wearing sweatpants and hoodies and sweatshirts. I kind of wanted like a cuter, comfy option for when I'm just like feeling lazy and want to be comfy, which is all the time. I actually don't remember what this is. I guess I bought shoes apparently. Oh, 
okay, yeah, these are really cute. I love these so much. I started buying white heels because I just noticed a lot of the outfits that I liked on Instagram and Pinterest, they were all wearing these. So I kind of started looking at like outfits that I like and looking like specifically at the different pieces that I would need to build that outfit. And that is why I've stocked up on white sandal heel things. <laughs> Next up, we got a flannel. Now, I kind of thought I was done with flannels for a minute. Like, I was kind of over them, but I think this one's really cute. Now, this next item is what inspired this entire order. I would have bought none of this if it wasn't for this item. I saw this on Instagram originally, but I didn't know where the girl got it from. So then Adeline sent me it and she's like, it's on Nasty Gal. And I was like, ah. obviously, I like clouds. I don't know why. I just love the sky and I love clouds. So I got this, it's like a little pajama set. It has these shorts and it has this sweater. I just, I guess it doesn't have to be pajamas. I feel like in my mind, I like categorize them as pajamas, but honestly, I could wear this out. Ooh, these are fun. Okay, I got these sunglasses just in case I was feeling like dramatic one day. Like if I wanted to have like a moment. Like, you know what the TikTok says? She is the moment. I also got a second pair of cloud pajamas. Was this a smart decision? Probably not. Was I being wise with my money? I don't think so. But you know what? The damage is done and this set just looked really cute. Okay, so this one comes with this little bra thing. I'm obsessed. I love this. And then it also comes with like a top that unbuttons and these little cloud shorts. You can't tell me that's not cute. Like imagine me like in my bed with my cloud wall. Like is it a little... Um, psychotically obsessed with clouds, yes, but it's also aesthetic and it's also cute and I also love that for me. Okay, this was one of my wiser purchases, I think. It is just a plain black skirt. You know, you gotta have those basics to build the outfits. So I could wear this with like my white sandals, a fun little top, like there's so many things that you could do with this and I just didn't have like a simple black skirt that I liked. So hopefully this can be the go-to black skirt. And the final thing I got from Nasty Gal is in this package. <laughs> this is for when I wanna embrace my inner businesswoman, my rich woman aesthetic. I have pinned so many outfits like this on Pinterest. Like this is like what I think of when I think of dream wardrobe, but it's just so, not what I would wear on a typical day. But it just says like, I have my life together. I know what I'm doing. Like with this belt too, no one's gonna fuck with me in this outfit. And the last package we have is this package sent to me by Aloe Yoga because I'm going to their event. So basically everyone going to the event got to spend a thousand dollars on their website, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> I spent a good like hour and a half picking out my cart because I was just like, I don't know if I'll ever get the opportunity to do something like this again. So I just really wanted to make sure I took advantage and picked some good stuff. So the first set I got was this pair of sweatpants. They feel really nice and thick, which I love. And then I also got a tank top to match that. This set is probably one of the sets I was most excited about. It is this pair of sweats, but it's this really nice material. I don't know what it's called, but it just feels so like high quality and like luxurious. It looks like this. And then the matching hoodie looks like this. I also got this tank top in the exact same shade of white to match that. This bra is also the exact same shade of white, so it can be worn with that as well. And then I loved it so much that I got it in brown. Like, look how cute that is. You can't tell me that's not cute. And like the other set, I also got a matching bra. I also got a lot of black stuff. I got this really cute one shoulder sports bra, a pair of spandex. I actually didn't own any shorts like this and it was much needed. I feel like every girl just needs a pair of shorts like this. A black aloe tank top. This really cute one shoulder black top. I don't own anything like this and I thought it was just really cool. And then I also got an oversized black sweatshirt or like zip up hoodie. I'm so excited about this because I've tried getting like basic zip up hoodies for like Shein or Romway or whatever and it's just, the quality is not there. So yeah, I got that in a large because I just wanted it to feel really oversized and baggy. That's what I love in any kind of like sweatshirt or hoodie. And the final thing I got was this aloe bag, which they just kind of like threw in when you spend a certain amount of money. It's really cute though. I'll definitely use this. Okay, my room's a mess right now. Just ignore that. I don't have time to clean it before we go to the aloe event, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit because it's really cute. Okay, so we are wearing this black 
one shoulder top from Aloe. Obviously, everyone's wearing Aloe to this event. I think Adeline's actually wearing this exact top too. And then I'm wearing this white skirt. She's wearing the black one. I'm wearing the white one. This is actually hers from her haul. This was not one of the free items, so I did not get it, but it's cute. And for shoes, I'm wearing my Jordans. I'm so excited for this event. The house is like incredible. And apparently Kendall Jenner is supposed to be there. I guess she has like a brand deal with Aloe, so she's just gonna be walking around. I don't know, maybe I'll be Kendall Jenner today. But my camera's actually about to die, so we're gonna switch to vlogging on my iPhone. Okay, obviously I did not end up vlogging very much at the event yesterday. It was honestly just very chaotic. I didn't know what to expect going into it. I've never been to any kind of event like that before. But yeah, it's just like a lot of people, a lot of music, no one's really vlogging. So I personally just didn't want to be that person doing it. Maybe next time, but I just kind of wanted to take it all in this time, you know? The event was really cool. I definitely enjoyed it. I did not meet Kendall Jenner, but I saw Victoria Justice and Benny Blanco and a few other people. So it was still a great experience. The only thing that sucked was that when we got there, the gifting suite was closed which basically means no free shopping but um one of the people did give me a free bikini and i'm obsessed with this bikini i saw sierra wearing it and i was just like that is so cute i didn't even know it was from aloe but now i own it and i'm really happy about that today is another event day today is a white box so i'm kind of rocking like a no makeup makeup look right now which is not going to cut it for white box because i'm wearing like a two-piece set like heels like i'm trying to look cute i'm kind of trying to look like I put effort in, so we definitely need to jazz this up, do a little day to night transformation, even though it's daytime. Also, Adeline and I got invited to this event for Dose of Color. I was not able to go, but she brought this home for me. It's basically just like their new collection. It's really cute. This is what the palette looks like. I'm probably gonna try this out and this lip gloss today. I am oily as fuck, so to get started, I'm honestly just gonna put powder all over my face. But I wanted to ask you guys what your favorite trends are right now, because I feel like my style is honestly all over the place. Like, before I went through a color phase, and then I went through a neutral phase, but I'm kind of like in both right now, and I love two-piece sets, and I love, like, showing a lot of skin, but then I also love, like, modest stuff. Like, I literally am just so scatterbrained with my style right now. Okay, we've added some blush, we've added some highlight, a little bit of bronzer, and now we're gonna contour. I feel like these are, like, the main elements that really, like, elevate it to a night look. Obviously, I need dead lashes, too, because that, that makes all the difference. But yeah, while well, I've been getting ready, I've kind of just been thinking about like my style and what I'm into. And one thing that I've really noticed that I've been enjoying is like following people on Instagram and like TikTok and whatever who have similar body types to mine because obviously like anybody can wear any style of clothes. But just because you like something on a certain size doesn't mean you'll like it on yourself, if that makes sense. Like, I've definitely experienced that, where I've looked at, like, these skinny models, and I'm like, er, I'm a size 6, like, that's not gonna look the same on me. So I've been following girls with, like, thicker thighs, and that just, like, have similar body types to mine and I love looking at like how they pose in photos and the outfits they wear because they look bad they look so good and like I know I can look that good too okay we're about to do eyeliner which means I need to turn this because I sit on the counter to do my eyeliner okay this is our completed makeup look not bad not bad and this is the fit I be matching my room a little bit from white box obviously I do wish I would have sized down a little bit because I kind of just like my going outfits to be like really tight but it's super cute but anyways we're running a little bit behind so I will see you guys at the event Okay, this is my stuff. That's Adeline's stuff. We're each allowed to have 10 things, and right now I have 12 things. So I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Oh my god, guys, I am back from the event and I am so tired. So we went to the Wild Fox event, which was really, really fun. That was such a cool event. Like, they just did such a great job. Like, the food was good, the drinks was good, the clothes were good, like everything about it. And then after that event, there was this other event that I didn't even know I was going to, but it's called Celebrity Media Brand Development. It's basically just like this PR team that pulls a bunch of different brands that we get a shop. I'll explain it more after, but we were there for four and a half hours. I did not expect this event to be so exhausting because you're socializing, you're shopping, you're making decisions, all in heels. 
Adeline and I ended up walking around the second event without our shoes. Like we just put them in a corner. We were walking around barefoot. Like the bottom of my foot right now is literally black, but like no free feet content. So I'm not gonna show you. But after that, we went to Olive Garden as one does when they feel unwell. We had some breadsticks. We had some lasagna. I'm feeling a little bit more alive. My voice, however, I feel like it sounds so weird. I think she might be a little fried, but let's get into this haul because I got some really, really cute stuff. So first I'll show you what I got from the Wild Fox event. I got this set, which I actually ended up changing into halfway through the event because I just liked it better than the outfit I was wearing. I thought this set was so cute that I ended up getting it in orange as well. So again, just the same pants and the same top, but it's really cute. I also got this dress, which is very like wholesome, like you know, it has a high neck, it's a little bit longer, but I thought this was really cute and I really like blue because it like brings out my eyes and I just feel like it looks good on my skin tone. I think I've like cool tone skin so anything like cool tone looks good on me plus I've just been obsessed with this like knit pattern so had to get this they had a bunch of things in this swirl pattern so I'll show you guys that I got this skirt with a matching top there were two top options and I was really tempted to go for the other one because that one was really cute too but this was like the exact same material, so I decided to go with this. Honestly, have not tried this on. You guys are seeing what it looks like on. Hopefully it looks cute. I trust White Fox though. If it's White Fox, it's probably cute. This dress I did try on because I was very confused by it. Like, there's just like these loops, like you don't really know what's going on, but on, it actually looks really, really cute. This like brownish blue like swirl pattern is also very different for me. I don't have anything like this, so I'm kind of excited to spice up my wardrobe a little. So that was only eight items. I ended up ordering two things while I was there because everyone got 10 items but we got there kind of like later and we didn't shop right away so I ended up picking some things that like they didn't have my size in and then they're just gonna send it here I don't really remember what I picked out if I'm gonna be honest but I remember I was excited about it so moving on to the celebrity media brand development PR event thing so this was really interesting I've never done anything like this before so basically we show up you have to like sign in and everything and everyone gets a list of brands that they can shop so it kind of goes based on like followers so like I had like a smaller list of brands I could shop Adeline had like a medium sized list of brands that she could shop but then there was this other girl that I have no idea who she was but she had like every brand on her list I was like okay this girl's clearly somebody because she is shopping everything there were certain like racks that me and Adeline like weren't allowed to take from but I'm very thankful to the brands that let me shop their stuff so the first brand that I was allowed to shop was Stax I was able to get one set from them, but I also was able to sneak this hat. I was not supposed to be able to get this, I don't think, but I got it anyways, and I think it's really cute. I just wanted, like, a basic brown hat. And then I also got this really cute workout set. The top looks like this. The bottoms look like this. I have some workout sets from Stax already, but I just really like this color. I think it's cute. The next brand I was able to shop was from Kittenish. I've never heard of this before, but they had really cute stuff on the rack. It was very picked over though, because again, we got there late. So I found this top. They only had it in an extra small, so hopefully it fits because I wasn't able to try it on. But I just love this. I feel like I would wear this a lot. I swear I have like this weird body type where I can wear anything from like extra small to medium. Like that, that is my size range. Some things I'm medium, some things I'm extra small, sometimes I'm small. Like it's it's really just all over the place. Oh my god, I got this bikini, which I'm so excited about. I think it's so cute. This is from VD on the label. The bottoms look like this, and the top looks like this. There was another swimsuit I was thinking about getting, but the reason I ended up getting this one is because, oh, I'm literally showing that it's reversible. Like, you can see both sides. So I just thought this was really cute, and it's kind of like getting two swimsuits in one, which we love that. One thing I'm a little bit upset about, I'm not that upset, only, only a little bit, is that there's this brand called Uncommon James, and I was supposed to be able to get three pieces of jewelry from there, so I picked out three pieces of jewelry, but there's only one in my bag for some reason, so I don't know why they took out the other two pieces because honestly I might have to reach out to Uncommon James because their jewelry slaps but I did end up getting these little white earrings which I just think are really cute I'm definitely gonna wear these I don't have very many earrings so I'm excited that I got these I also just got these little silver hoops from so cute it has like little lightning bolts on it and I don't have a lot of silver jewelry so I was excited about this as well for when I'm feeling a silver moment there was this brand called a brow code there which was literally just every brow product you could ever imagine they had like brow conditioner brow shampoo like all these different things I did not realize how many brow products there were I'm not someone who's like crazy about taking care of my brows I feel like I do the basics but I picked up this it is brow code 
micellar eye makeup remover. I don't know if I can use this all over my face. I will probably try. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like literally makeup remover meant specifically for your brows. And I tend to have like breakouts on my brows and stuff. So I was intrigued by this. I thought this might help me out. And the last thing I got were these glasses from Diff Eyewear. They're like blue light glasses. Honestly, I wish I would have tried them on because there was a few different styles that I thought were cute. I just kind of grabbed this one. But I feel like it's too small for my face. I have like a really big face. I feel like I have definitely a baby face. I'm not like sculpted. And I just don't know. I don't know if this does much for my face, but I've never owned blue light glasses before, so I am kind of like intrigued by this. And like, if I'm just wearing them at the house, it doesn't really matter. They work well. And honestly, it's my fault because they had really cute styles. I should have just like picked a different style. It's not, maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Anyways, that is the last thing I picked from the celebrity PR event thing. I am literally so tired. I'm about to pass the fuck out. So I'm gonna end this video. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. You're literally the only reason I get to go to events like this, which is so cool. I've never done anything. I've been on YouTube for five years, but I've been in Canada, so I never got to experience any of these like cool LA things. And it's really fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you, and I will see you in a brand new video very, very soon. Bye!